Sanders says in 2015, a prosecutor tried to get his client to cooperate against alleged YSL members, but he wasn't interested. I did my time like a man. Hudson says DA Fonnie Willis has mentored him since he was a young prosecutor. She's my big sister and I love her a lot. He well, we know that was a lie, but his lawyer said that Fonnie Willis was his big sister. Take a look at the whole entire news clip, then let's spin the bench. <laughs> exclusive tonight another arrest of a man named in a sweeping racketeering conspiracy indictment that led to the arrest of rapper young thug only channel to action news talked to the rapper's former road manager before he surrendered and he talked exclusively with channel Two investigative reporter mark winnie mark with us live in downtown atlanta so mark he told you he's had no contact with young thug or the ysl in recent months yeah, the indictment says uh, or suggests that YSL is a criminal street gang that claims affiliation with the National Bloods Gang and that uh, Walter Murphy, along with Young Thug and a third person, were YSL founders. The Fulton County DA's office says that's one reason Murphy needs to be held accountable along with shootings and more. But now, here from Walter Murphy. What are you about to do? Right after this interview, I'm about to go on the quads and turn myself in. His lawyer, Jacoby Hudson, says just as Walter Murphy carries a YSL tattoo on his forehead from his past, his past has landed him in a high-profile racketeering conspiracy indictment, putting his future in jeopardy. The indictment he surrendered on at the Fulton County Courthouse. I intend on proving everyone is innocent. You're facing a tough challenge now. How are you going to get through that? The same way I got through everything else with God and my faith. Murphy is charged along with more than two dozen others in a sprawling indictment alleging a criminal street gang called YSL. I would rather say it was more like a, a record label or a family. Once upon a time I was actually a road manager on that label. An indictment that's attracted attention in part because of the gang and RICO conspiracy charges against famous rapper Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug. Without question or hesitation, Mr. Williams committed no crime whatsoever. Since you've been out of prison, have you had any contact with Young Thug or any other alleged members of YSL? No. Murphy is charged in one RICO conspiracy count, but as part of that charge, it alleges acts by Murphy, including an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon on or about September 11, 2013, and attempted murder involving four different victims on or about April 12, 2015. Hudson says Murphy had been charged in those incidents years ago, and he pled guilty or guilty in what's known as an Alford plea, basically to reduce charges, and until his surrender, had been out on parole since early this year. I spent seven years in prison. While I was in prison, I, you know, I stayed out the way, and I just got my GED, completed all my classes, completed the transition center. I transitioned back into back into the world. I got me a job at the transition center. He paid his debt to society. Hudson says Murphy had been working until last week. The lawyer says in 2015, a prosecutor tried to get his client to cooperate against alleged YSL members, but he wasn't interested. I did my time like a man. Hudson says DA Fonnie Willis has mentored him since he was a young prosecutor. She's my big sister and I love her a lot. Hey, yo, you. Can you subscribe and turn on that bell too? Because when you do, you're helping unbiased independent news. He's going to plead Murphy's cause to her, but he knows she's fighting an uptick in crime. I just want the younger kids to know no matter what you did, whatever you think you're a part of, you're bigger than that, and you can overcome it. Were you a founder of YSL? No comment. Now, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office says uh, the racketeering conspiracy count in the indictment does charge some suspects with individual acts they've had to answer for before. Uh, but that part of the purpose is to hold people responsible collectively for an alleged criminal organization that has, has wreaked havoc on the streets. Reporting live in downtown Atlanta, Mark Wynn. Now, what I will say, I'm really not supposed to say, but I don't care. I got a case I've been looking at, and Fonnie Willis is so-called justice streak, right? Well, she was working under Paul Howard. And once I can connect the dots, I can prove that Fonnie Willis set up this individual up out of Atlanta. And uh, we'll see how that goes from there. So that's the big story that I'm working on. Because what that just did for me is confirm something that I was told, but I didn't take serious. And Fonnie Willis has been setting people up. Who was the first person to sign off? 
on that damn Rico conspiracy? That would be DK. Now, obviously, DK lied when he said that they offered him an alpha plea and he didn't do anything. We've been exposing that since last year. So, for the dummy who I jacked this video from because somebody sent it to me, yeah, you're a little late. I've been told you this, stupid. But either way that goes. Fonny Willis, in my opinion, in my opinion, set this whole thing in motion. Because if my lawyer has a friendly nice, cozy friendship with a DA, I'm going to expect my lawyer might be able to get some in both our favors. You want me off the streets? I don't want to go away for a very long time. Let's meet in the middle. But to essentially say that's my mentor, which means that you worked up under her, means that y'all have a slight cozy relationship as well and one thing that i would point out is that if you're able to do that and you were the first person he was able to write off like literally scratch out that the what's the names that ysl is a part of the national blood organization which i ain't never heard of a day in my life that that don't even shit that don't even exist in la a national like there's buzz that be for bloods in la so that don't even make sense but whatever <laughs> a national bloods organization is stupid as hell and th that's one of the things that they don't know what the hell they're talking about he said that he was a manager for young thug and all this stuff and everything like that right but one thing that stood out stood out a lot too is when he got arrested he was already on parole so that's where they got him from and essentially i'm wondering if any lawyer on anybody's team can look at this as a double jeopardy. Now they can say no, because all the acts we actually found out, there was an underlying thing behind it. And that's what we found out. And you get in charge for the underlying thing. And that's what the Rico's supposed to be. But at certain points in time, bro, like this nigga just did seven years for what he snitched on his homie about. So there's that. But I don't know, bro. This 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 case is so odd and so weird, and these cats are so stupid and so dumb that anything that they do these days just don't surprise me. But you know what? Check out the video that's pinned in the comments, and that I recap yesterday for y'all. But yeah, the big video that I told y'all in the previous video is the one where I'm looking at this case. It's going to deal with the GBI. That's the Georgia Bureau of Investigations. It's going to deal with Fonnie Willis and one particular individual who will remain nameless. And that's why I need y'all to subscribe, turn on that bell to stay notified. Because stuff like this, if we're able to drop that and create ways and impact, we could potentially free an innocent man. And I finally rest. Watch the sunrise on a grateful universe.